What is up guys, it's your boy Vivulani back at it again with another video and in today's video we are going over the best secondary weapons in the game of Rainbow Six Siege and I'll be ranking them on a tier list, okay? So all the secondaries in the game of Rainbow Six Siege I will be putting in a tier and the current season right now is Demon Veil, so if you're watching this video down the road and they come out with a new secondary, I don't have that on there if it was past Demon Veil. But all the secondaries in Demon Veil I will be ranking in today's video. And yeah, let's get into it. So um, to start things off, we got the P12. Um, I think P12 is a really, really good secondary, to be honest. It's one of my favorite secondaries in the game. Does good damage, pretty easy to use, A tier weapon for me. Um, P9, I think I like this gun more than I other people do. Um, I'm running this gun on Monty all day, but um, I'm going to put it as a C tier for now. Um, the Ida, uh, the Ida is a really solid weapon, but like for kills wise, it's not great at all. But people do use it for destruction, but I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how helpful the gun is, to be honest. Like, I'm running it on Jack on Mira. I, we'll do C tier, we'll do C tier. Um, okay, so this is the P2294 Habana. Um, I like this weapon a lot. I think it's a real, I have a good trigger finger with this weapon for some reason. It just feels, it's a, it's a good weapon. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to put that as a B tier. Um, here's Frost is MK1. This is one of my favorite pistols in the game, to be honest with you guys. This pistol is so easy to use. It feels good. Um, and it's really easy to have a good trigger finger with it. Does decent damage. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the MK1 as an A tier. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this weapon. Because I, this is definitely up for debate. Um, okay, so then we got the P226 um, for Sledge and uh, Mute and those ops. Um, I'm going to put that as a D tier. It is not a very good weapon. It's a very big downgrade from the SMG-11 that uh, Sledge has and that had, Sledge had and Mute has. So, yeah, it's a big downgrade in my eyes, this uh, P226. SMG-11, now that we're on the topic, is an A-tier weapon. Um, the full autos on as secondaries are definitely going to get a... Uh, are going to be in an A-tier, most likely. Uh, Deagle, B-tier, solid gun, great damage. Um, it was kind of hard to use at first, but, uh, and you had to kind of get used to it, but, you know, I think it's just a B-tier weapon, to be honest with you. Okay, so now we got the PMM, I believe, yeah, PMM. Um, PMM, this is an A-tier weapon, definitely an A-tier weapon, probably the best pistol in the game, I would say, probably. Um, okay, so the 5.7, I'm putting it as a B-tier, it does not do much damage. But you guys, if you're playing on console and using a controller, it this weapon feels so good to use on a controller. It's a really easy to have a good trigger finger with it. It's just a really easy weapon to use. It doesn't do good damage, but I don't know. I, it, it's such an easy weapon to use, and I see a lot of people running that over uh, the M45. So yeah, um, PMM 5.7 we got, and now we are on the Illusion, which is Cavi's pistol. <sighs> it's not as good as it once was, but it's still really, really, really good. So I'm going to put it as an A tier. SMG 12, okay. I don't think this gun's that good. Um, I kind of want to put it as a B tier, but... I, I kind of do. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Do you guys think you would use the P12 over the SMG12 if there was an option? I mean, I don't know. It's close. I'll put the SMG12 in A tier, I guess. Um, it's a hard gun to use, to say the least. The Bailiff, this gun is not good for anything but destruction. D tier weapon, you know, you're not going to get many kills with it. 
GSH, it's not a bad weapon, but it is just a weird one, though. It's hard to use, in my opinion. It's a D tier. I don't see anybody using the GSH over the PMM. Bearing 9, definitely an A tier weapon. Um, up for debate if it's better than the SMG 11. Um, so, this is the M45. Um, we were talking about this earlier in comparison to the 5.7. This is a D tier, probably. I'll put it as a C tier. It's not the worst weapon. It just doesn't feel good, to be honest. But yeah, I, I, I just don't. It just feels awkward to use for some reason. Um, so now this is Mozzie's pistol, the SDP 9mm. Um, this is a really easy. I like this gun a lot. It's kind of like a bonus gun. I, it's really easy to use. Might not do the best damage, but it's a really easy gun to use. C75, this is a B tier weapon. I don't care what anybody says. This is B tier. This is not in the A tier. It's the highest of the B tier, okay? It's a full auto, so it's good, but good lord, it is not that good of a weapon. It does not compare to the Bearing 9 and the SMG 11. Like, I'm taking the Frost's pistol over the C75. That's just me. This is my tier list, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think the uh, uh, CZ75 is a little overrated. Um, Super Shorty... You know, it's it's better than the Ida. So I'm going to put it as a B tier. It's definitely better than the Ida. I'm putting it as a B tier. Um, I keep forgetting that um, Mozzie had the Super Shorty at one point. That's crazy. Okay, so now we're on to Mira Pistol. This is not a very good weapon. I'm putting it as a D tier. Not a very good weapon. Um, the Keratos... Oh, I'm putting this as a D tier. Maestro does not, an alibi, do not have great secondaries. Um, These are just not good options. I might think about putting the Bailiff as a C tier because I do use the Bailiff over the Keratos. And I don't, the Keratos is just such a weird gun to use. I don't think it's very good at all. Um, But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, 1911, this is a really solid gun for Maverick. It has a bunch of good skins for it too. I like this gun. Um, Lesions pistol, I believe that's what it is. Um, yeah, the Q929. Um, that is an A tier. This is an A tier weapon right here. This is a beautiful. I love this pistol. Okay, now we're at Capitao's pistol. You know, I might. I was thinking about B tier. I think I am gonna put it as a B tier. It is a solid pistol, to be honest. Clash pistol. There's no reason to be running it. But I'll put it C tier. Here's the SMG. This SMG is actually really good. I like this SMG a lot. I do think the Bearing 9 and the SMG 11 are better. But it is better than the SMG 12. Probably third best secondary in the game, I would say. Okay, this weapon sucks. Okay, um, the SPS... And no, the .44 Mag Auto. The SPS MG is the uh, Clash's gun. But... This is Kaid and Nomad Pistol. This gun, guys, is so bad. I hate this weapon. Okay, there are pro players that just potato with this weapon. Pro players that play this game 12 hours a day, all day. This is all they do. And they, this gun, they potato with. Not, they, they can't hit their shots with. This gun is so hard to use, okay? Um... Yeah, this is the worst secondary in the game. And I believe you can use the revolver now. Is that what they added was the revolver for Kaid? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they did add the revolver. So, the LFP 586, I believe that's what it's called. Um, I think it is the better option over the P9. Kind of depends on who you ask with this gun. I'm going to put the C tier. I'm going to get some people disagreeing with me, though. And then, last but not least, for the secondaries, is Ella's Pistol. Okay. So this is different from Clash's. Ella's Pistol is really good. I might... I think I'm going to put it as an A tier. Um, But yeah. So this is what the tier list is looking like, guys. Um, SMG 11, I would say, is probably the best secondary. Bearing 9, very close. 
and then yeah, PMM, don't sleep on that weapon. Um, P12 is good. Legion's pistol is really solid. Um, this is the real gun that I think is going to be uh, debated. Is S the um, what is it? C75 auto CZ75. This gun's going to be debated um, if it's a B or an A. Um, but yeah, I could put it in A, but I I just feel strongly about this weapon that is not even comparable to the A tier weapons in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time.